Hi, this is Kev with KGM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, I'm working yesterday evening, and I start getting all these messages about how much SPS everybody's making, and that must be up in the higher uh, tiers, I guess, because I think all they did yesterday was remove the SPS out of the chest, and then it's now in either modern pull or the wild pull but either way the high the payouts are higher especially in modern and also the splinter mate and the other bots went down as they fixed the system to match the new system type thing so uh, me personally i haven't seen it my my you know, i'm still down in bronze uh, and that's going away too of course in the next i don't know a few weeks a month whatever and um but I know if you're higher up, uh, you're getting a lot more. So, so it is happening. The, the, that's happening. It's just I got to climb out of this bronze and get in the silver. And of course, I am in wild because I do bot um, with Splinter Mate. But like right here, that was from the bras. We had a really good bra. If you're not in a guild yet, go get in one or start your own. I've got four spots left, but. We're getting better every single week, pretty much, it seems like. And let's go see what the totals were. We're in the results stage here. And um, on a personal note, there's the rankings for my guild. Claudie's had an, uh, Claude's had another good showing, Monster 20. Shadow Morph did good. I mean, we all, look, I, I don't care if you go 0 and 6. It, it doesn't matter to me. I just want you to show up, battle, and then use whatever you win to uh, build up your account, B put some equity into the game. Uh, as far as building the uh, the buildings, I'll take care of that. Uh, if you want to donate, that's great. And if not, don't worry about it. I'm not asking you to do so. Uh, and thank you to those who have. Uh, it, it helps out, yes. But, um, yeah, we had a really good, as a group, overall, very good show out. I actually went 2-0 and in gold. Uh, the the which I think that's two weeks in a row now or two brawls in a row I've gotten so I'm getting better in the gold foil ones but let's see what we won uh, we got ten crowns four hundred sixty two merits and sixteen point eight six seven staked SPS let's go look at let me go back to switch account which I just had that open. And I'm going to look and see how many merits I got. Yeah, I don't have enough to open a Chaos, uh, not Chaos Legion, but a Gladius pack. But let's go check my Taro Cabat. And if we do, we're, oh, nope, same thing there. All right, well, it is what it is. But, um... And then we got 16.867 staked SPS. That, that's what I mean. This is every three days or four days we're getting this. And that adds up throughout the month. And if you're trying to stack SPS and build your account up, the uh, uh, guild is the way to go. It really is. Um, so send me a request and I'll send you an invite. I've only got it by invite right now. Because uh, we had a lot of people just popping in and popping out, so I decided just to go. I, I figured if you're willing to contact me, you're you're wanting to join, type of thing. So good job, everybody, and uh, even better luck to the next brawl, which is coming up. All right, let's go look at my stats. Now I did not make a video yesterday. I I went to make one and it was under maintenance, and I waited as long as I could. So then I went to work, and when I got back, I was so tired. I went ahead and just did all my work and closed out with the bed. But I did open the Rebellion pack, and because I'm doing this potion experiment right now at the request of a follower and a fellow guild member, and um, so I went five for five with no uh, gold card or legendary. So for right now, we're zero and three for three packs, and we're about to open another one. Um, but here, here I am with no potions. Uh, Nick sent me two Chaos Legion, zero. And on the first day that we were doing this, I bought five Chaos Legion packs and I got one legendary with no potions. Then four with none and two with none. 
five or more packs, five between five and ten packs seems to be a magic number for me as far as opening and getting a golden card or a legendary card. But again, it, you just never know. You just never know. Here's my numbers for yesterday and today. And it shot up the other day, yesterday, and then it came down a little bit. So I'd walk away today with a $1,215 after three years of in the game in a bull market. That's incredible. It really is. That's what I got into. I, I DCA $10 a day now. And I started doing it again back on the 20th of January. And um, so there's, there's, you know, that's not bad at all. That's my gold account. That's my regular account, gold or regular foil. That's my buy, sell, and rent account. These are the cards that these two don't need. They're just sitting there. So I put them into this one. And I'll either sell them if the price goes up or, you know, rent them out type thing. And my property, and of course, SPS is pumping a little bit. It's funny when it goes up a tenth of a penny and we, we call it pumping. But if you've been around for a little while, the SPS was not doing anything. So, yeah, to us, that's that's pumping right now. Um, let's go to the, the buzz group. These are all the... Um, fellow YouTubers who are making Splinterland videos. There, there's more out there. I add them every time I find one. Here's their links. You can pause this, pick out. If you haven't, go like and subscribe to all of them. Comment on their videos. That helps the algorithm. Helps get the word out about Splinterlands, which is what we're all trying to do. And don't forget, uh, on Apple TV, we got Killer Wells coming out that has a segment about Splinterlands. Now, um, I was informed that on the third episode of Killer Wells, they only talk about Splinterlands for like five to eight minutes. Where I thought the whole half an hour show or hour show was going to be about Splinterlands. That's not the case. They get we get our little, you know, time in the spotlight. That's all we need. Sometimes having more is worse. Uh, that little promo, you know, is like type set up in that five, ten minutes, that might get enough to interest somebody's interest, you know, pique their interest and get them involved in Splinterlands. <coughs> and tomorrow morning, I'm drawing, unless I heal from Martino Martelli today, for the Rage card, because he's never contacted me to give it to him. So I've tried. It's been a week. I'm going to let it go. So I will send it tomorrow. I'm just keeping the same list that was on there. Uh, so if you don't hear this, and you win, I'll notify you. So either way, you're covered. Uh, just to be fair, I, I think a week is plenty. Uh, it means you haven't been watching the videos. And, and you you subscribe to me, so you might not have known about the drop. I don't know or care. But either way, maybe you don't need it. I'm going to give it to somebody else. And I apologize if that's, you know, if that upsets you in any way. Not my intention. Um so where are we at? So here's the Splinter's drawings. This list is final. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll take off him or, or her. I don't know. Martin, Martino. Is that a guy named? I, I apologize. I don't know. But we're going to go like that. So now there's how many there is. I will do it on the um, Baron's toolbox system, the spinner. And we will have a new winner tomorrow. Okay. All right, let's go do land real quick. And then I'll show you yesterday's season ending rewards. That's why I do my videos in the morning. Usually by night, when I get, I'm just out. Very rarely do I got the desire to do much of anything once I get back about 9, 10 o'clock at night. Okay, this is my property. And, and right now all we can do is claim pretty much, you know, they're... Uh, waiting for 2.0 to come out. So with this property, all I do is harvest grain. And grain's a gatekeeper. you got to have it. So you better figure out a way to either afford to buy it or make it yourself. And that's what I'm doing. I still haven't gotten a totem piece. I've been saying that for weeks now. Now, this one produces grain also, but it takes care of the other three properties. 
and I claim probably twice a day on average. You can claim every hour if you want. So I got a total of five properties, and this one takes care of the other three in itself. And that's how come on the other one I can just stack grain. Okay, so there we go. Oh, actually, I need to go back in there. I'm going to transfer all of this grain to the property that needs it the most. Okay, 5319, 5319. Continue. And it's going to be number three plot 13 region and we'll just send it on over there hold on yeah see I got a I got 200,000 stacked on that other one so that's I've got a nice rainy day pile and you know I might sell it when it comes time to sell if it's worth it I don't know yet too early to tell and then my other three properties one's producing uh, what's it called um, research and then the last two are producing SPS because uh, I, I figured I'd go after SPS while we could with land because we're going to lose that in 2.0. There's you won't have the ability to mine it. I'm pretty much with my SPS. I'm just stacking it like everybody else. I stack it and I stake it. Stack and stake. Sounds like a burger. And um, okay, let's, this is SPS now. And then here's the last one. Last shot for a totem piece. And I found out something new today that's going to, I did not realize. And that's another reason I make these videos is people, no totem piece, as you saw, people really help me out. They, they, they will see what you're doing wrong or you don't realize and point it out to you. Uh, so let's go uh, do season ending rewards real quick. I, I opened them up last night just to see what I had, but we can replay it. Show last season rewards, okay? and reveal all so I got you know potions and this SPS and some cards and you know nothing about an average pack or average season ending nothing nothing spectacular about 10 SPS probably so that was that and then last night I've only I only had four chest and Enjoy this while you can because it's going away. Ooh, I got a battle I can do. I, I do the splinter mate so I can jump in whenever I want. And I can adjust it so it gives me more games to play a day or less. or You know, it does all of them. But whenever I get a chance, I try to play it. I, I do enjoy to play. It's just so the time is so valuable to me right now. That the bot, it just it's very beneficial, and and it does play better than I do too. So, but of course you can't play in modern. Uh, I love to use the death. So let's go, and I love to use this guy in the front, and then we're gonna put him in the re. I love that reach ability. Okay, and I can do a lot of them from right here, but now this guy. Everybody's got attack first, but he can't do nothing. But I'm going to put this guy right there. And then I love to put, put him in the back. So that's going to leave me four, and then do I have a zero? I've got the chicken. So let's do the chicken. And then my fourth one is going to be... I can either do the rift wing, which pretty much will give protection to that but this guy behind the chicken and these guys you know, give him a chance to build up and he does damage and then I'll finish it off with my Cornelius 
Okay, let's battle. Let's see how that does. Also, like playing the game you show people, they'll, they'll point out things that you're doing wrong. Because let me tell you something. This is a very complex game. When you first start playing, you're going to be like, oh, it's an Autobot. Uh, it's Autobot. But you start getting into it, and you start realizing. Even though once you set it up, it plays itself, the setting up process has got so much different things you can do with all the different roles that are constantly changing, plus the cards themselves. It's pretty... And it's pretty deep. You got to really, uh, you, you appreciate it. You really do. Now, I'm here on the top, and this guy's on the bottom. He kind of set up like I did. He likes that guy in the front. Oh, man, they're just going after my magic user there. And he's gone, just like that. And there he goes. Oh, man, he's got, a, he's got a nice lineup. And they're tearing me up. And he missed. My Cornelius missed. you got to be kidding me. Okay, that guy's gone good. And he's gone. Nope. Yep, yeah, now he's gone. Now I can start laying into these guys. Now I can't fire, but wait. Wait till you see this. See if it helps. If I can get fatigue in, if I can stay ahead of their. No, nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose one point around, so they're gonna win this one. Okay, I tried. He had a good firepower lineup that was just doing too much damage. Okay, and I'm silver. I'm almost a silver three. So there we go with that. So anyway, so you saw the season rewards. You saw that. So now, now I DCA'd last, yesterday too, or last night. So I'll show you what I did. I do that $10 a day. We lost power this morning, so. All right, here's what I own. Anyway, I'm going after the summoners. I want one splinter each maxed out. And I've got, and I'm going after the Chaos Legion because they're the cheapest. But they're also, I, I gotta admit, for the mana and what they're you're paying for them, it's probably the best summoner to get for the bang for the buck type thing. You know, uh, you got eight. You know, just there's better ones, yes. But if you want to max one out, by maxing one out, I'm guaranteed that I can at least bring in my highest power cards at all times. As, as this new system comes in. Before then, I was glad hanging out in silver and gold. Or, or at, at that point, I was in silver and bronze because of the, the land. But anyway, so I got everything maxed out except this one. And I'm going... So I bought one of these. I've been paying between 3 and $4 for them. And that puts me at 19 So I need three more and I'm done. And then I might work on the dragon legendary, but you don't really need a dragon summoner. Uh, I mean, it's maxed out anyway. Uh, I mean, people argue that, but I'm, what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is the five splinters will pretty much get you into every battle, if that makes any sense. Okay, so then I bought some cards to finish... And here's right here is one. So I, I need 38 total. That's a common. So I'll be building up. Once I get the summoners built up, I can go more in on the, the deck cards, the battle cards and stuff like that. But the other one I, I did, I think I maxed it out too, is this one right here. So this one's done. Twenty let me see. No, actually, I'm going to need four more after this. So this one's almost maxed out. Maybe I'll do that today. Okay. And I think I added one more. These ones that you see with doubles, that they're maxed out on land. And I know they are, so I don't need to look at them. But this one, I'm working on getting maxed out too. And then I just work my way up into the store the cheapest gold for what I need. 
Not always what I want. I just want, I always want to get the what the game will give me. And then let's go look at my alpha cards, which I'm buying the cheapest alpha card at the moment. And lately it's been this guy right here. And I'm telling you, these alpha cards, uh, I can use them in wild. So it's that's incredible. Usually, you know, use, in the old days, you couldn't use the first cards. They just collectibles. That's pretty much it. But in the new Web3 gaming, they actually can have utility. And I bought some of these, too. And uh, then I'm burning them, which makes them even more rare and valuable. That's a, a, people will argue too that that's you want to keep them single because they're easier to sell that way. But yeah, that's the way I, I want maxed out cards. Okay, so that's what I did with that, and then I got some for the Taro Cabot account, which we'll go check out in a minute. But the the way I'm doing this, and it, you know, it changes every day depending on what's going on in the market. But I'll just say I want to buy my gold card, right? So I go to the gold, you know, filter. Oh, I got to go to the market. Hold on. And then I go to the cheapest. And right now it's this guy. So today I would buy, I think I need, what, 14 more of them. I'd probably buy just this one for 25 cents. And because once you jump up to the 30 cents, he's no longer the cheapest card in the market. So, the, and then, like, I got him maxed out, him maxed out. So, I'm working on him. He's maxed. He's maxed. Working on him. And that's how I'm doing it. But I'm always guaranteeing myself the cheapest price for the gold foil every day. That's that's part of the power of uh, DCA and, and the, you know, the funness of it. All right. Let's, oh, I want to show you. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Here's the uh, Chaos Legion pack that somebody sends me once per day. And appreciate it. And he also sent me potions because we're doing that potion experiment. So let's go open it. There's enough potions to cover all of it. But what I was doing before yesterday, and it was um, <coughs> somebody from the uh, the People's Guild. And okay, so this is an above average pack. It's too rare. But none of this is because of potion, unless it's a gold, because potion will only check. Uh, will affect the legendary. So let's see if any gold cards are in there. Nope, not yet. Two rares. And there we go. So no, the potions had no effect again. Now, here's what I was doing. Okay, inner conflict. I was taking all the cards off. I thought you had to. I didn't even really check it, I guess. And I would take all the cards off with clear all, combine them, and then put them back on. But what he told me in the comment was if I just go to them and combine them like normal, it will do it automatically over on the site. And I was like, hell yeah. Because that, that saves me. all. Here's all the gold cards I got from Rebellion. That will save me the time and the lost points. I don't know why I thought you couldn't do it. Maybe I did. Maybe in the beginning you couldn't and they changed it. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I just saw that and I assumed it was like other items where you cannot combine it. But there you go. So I, I was showing you bad info. So don't do not do what I was doing. Just do this. Just go and combine them. And they will automatically update it on the cart. And I got three more, unless that was a new card. And I got one more, maybe. No. Oh, yeah, there it is. And there's the five. Okay, so that's it for that. So let's go to the Taro Cabot account. <coughs> <coughs> oh, 
<clears throat> but um, they had the AMA yesterday, and uh, two of them actually. They had part one and part two. I haven't listened to part two yet, uh, but I loved what I was hearing. And um, tonight is Splinter Zone. Go, they got a live stream. I believe it's uh, five or six o'clock. Go, go get the notification thing on, so you can watch them. And then Bronze Dragon is in tomorrow morning at eleven thirty. And the Guild does one again. I think again on Tuesday they do a podcast. It was a very good interview. Uh, loved just listening to what they were talking about and the guest you pretty much did all the talking and but he's very knowledgeable of what he was talking about I had a lot of great ideals but i i'm very glad with splinter lands and where it's headed right now uh, you know some now they're going to try new things and maybe it works maybe it doesn't so just be prepared for that you know but i like the fact that they're willing to admit something needs to get fixed or gets better and they're willing to try it so i just got the one pack here so let's open that. Now, this is no potions. So this is an above average pack. It's got three rares. Let's see if it's got any gold. Or summoners. Come on, summoners. Nope, no summoners, but there we go. Okay, well, that's that's the numbers for that. Let's go to the potion stats. So, zero, three. Yesterday was a leap year, by the way. Or leap day, whatever you want to call it. Okay, one rebellion pack. Equals, but I guess the experiment we're trying to buy is—is is it really worth? Look, either way, the money's going to the to Splinter Lands. You either spend it on packs, I mean, on uh, potions, or you use it to spend it on, you know, cards or packs or whatever. So the, I don't have a problem with not buying potions. I just have never—I don't know. I don't think it's—it does give you a better chance, but it's not that much of a chance and, and it's going to come out in this experiment if that makes I, I'd just rather spend it on a card you know instead of he that was eight dollars for those hundred packs each or for the potions so imagine what you could have done with that eight bucks you could have guaranteed bought something you know uh, but you know to each their own whatever you like to do do it but I'm just But everything's looking kind of bleak as far as... I had a legendary on the first day. And there we go. Okay. And I, I had some... Oh, I got. I know what else I want to do. One more thing and then I'll, we'll get out of here. And that is I want to go over the um, comments. Um, but I'm trying to think. Uh, the peace silence... He made a video of his season ending rewards. He's gone 56 something packs without getting a legendary. And I'm pretty sure he's using potions. Let me see what we got here. New replied in the seasons. Let's see what that. That's actually the peace signs. Uh, lots of love. I, oh, yeah. I, I wrote him. I said. Uh, where where did it, it doesn't show what I said, but he says lots of love. I feel you. Open a chaos golem today, doing my pack of the day, so the streak is finally broken. Good, he got one. Okay, of course it was the least expensive leg legendary in the set, but hey, it was something. Thanks for the comment. Glad you liked the vid. Um, the uh, I wrote what did I write? I said if I had no bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. And but fifty six packs without. 
and let me I got to do I'm getting more organized on this um, organization is a definite plus so let me archive that because I've already talked about it but anyway so down here let's go check out this one uh, alpha set packs promo cards reward cards and gladiator cards excluded yeah I keep saying I, I I know that too I know that you can't use potions on a alpha pack or a bravo pack but what I mean is that in that type of case I would buy a potion and I think there are certain types of potions you can get for the alpha maybe not but, but the point is if I could I would in that type of a situation okay if that makes any sense Because if, if you're going to spend that much money on a pack, yeah, every little bit helps. Okay, uh, Bronze Dragon says, I also don't buy potions. Mostly because I have more than a thousand of each from... Right, I mean, I use them if I get them. Of each from earning them over the past few years. I don't open packs regularly and have always taken the approach of buying singles on the market as I feel it's better use of funds. Opening packs is fun. Hell yeah. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's better to say spend $20 and get that legendary that you want versus buying a few packs. It's fun to do once in a while and interesting to watch your progress. Thank you, BD. Yeah, the um, that's true. I, I agree. Uh, the, the, the Taking the money instead of buying packs and get the exact cards you want is a lot cheaper uh, or a lot more you're in control. Because you can spend thousands going after a particular card in a pack. Uh, in my opinion, I'm not sure, but I believe potions won't affect the odds for Alpha Beta Pack. Yeah, you're exactly right. Bolts85, thank you for the comment. That is exactly right. Let me archive that. See, this way I know I responded. And the People's Guild, yes, GM Sweet Man, looking forward to seeing you there. We'll have another one going Tuesday evening. So make sure you go check out the, the People's Guild. I'm looking forward to that one big time. archive and then this one was him telling me yo kevin you can just combine your rebellion cards without removing them from the wagon first they'll auto update the cp in the wagon once you combine and you don't lose any points thank you that is huge that saves me so much time and points okay archive and the peace sign is applied on uh something yesterday i don't mind a more because i i said that when we're playing the game and we lose and it subtracts those points from us i hate that because you literally can play for an hour and i have i've played for a couple hours and not just end up back where i started from but even worse off and it's demoralizing and it it can cause people not want to play the game so instead of having that if you don't win nothing happens you just don't win. But if you win, you get more points to go up. And it would also probably encourage people to buy energy because you could literally spend 50 bucks on energy and not win a game and then lose all that those points. Whereas at least if you maintained, you know, um, that's just me. There might be a reason why they can't do it. And, and But that's really what I hate the most about the game is that if I lose, I get penalized. I guess that's what I guess I'm trying to say is you sh you shouldn't get anything for losing, but you shouldn't get penalized either. Now for winning, you should get something, yes, and you should get more points and whatever and move up, and that'd be the same for everybody. So it would really equal out, but you'd remove that demoralizing aspect of going backwards because going backwards is horrifying to me. And it does affect me. So I can imagine a new player. Say he plays four games. And he he wins one, loses one. Go one, lose one. And he's like, fuck this. I just played and I'm back right where I started. Mentally, that's a huge uh, demoralizing mental for most of us human beings. It just is. Some people don't affect it all, but most of us it does. So that's something they might want to address, um, if possible. But thanks for the reply. Peace, silence, war. Uh, appreciate it. Okay, um, go check out After Sound. He did some videos yesterday about the number of people playing the game. And um, I, I pointed this out. I said, look, I've got an affiliate program with Spiralands. And I got one common thing that's happening all the time with them. They join. 
they play two to four games and they quit and never come back. That's a that's a clue. That's a piece of data that tells you something's going on that is turning people off of the game without them. I know if they stuck around, they'd get into it. But we're 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 closing the door on them before they even get in because something is not. I don't know what that is. I don't. I'm just saying that's a clue. The fact that all my affiliates play two games and then leave is that there's something. That isn't working, and 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 the teams admitted it. They they're they're working on it. I know. I'm just saying that's that's a big clue. So m- what I'm thinking is maybe when they when they open when they open the account, the first thing they watch is a quick video that shows them the whole game, as you know, wrapped in bows as best as you can. Something that, so they just don't look at, because if they're just looking at the card game, I'll admit, when I first played it, I didn't like it. I stuck around because of the game within the game within the game. When I saw the market and what I could do with the market, I fell in love with it. And then I fell in love with the game. You see what I'm saying? And so the game, which I know they'll like, like I did once they realize how good of a game it is because it's so complex. The game might be our worst enemy when it comes to getting new people in. It might be turning them away. Until, you know, so maybe try to get them in the door some other way and then let them, the game grow on them type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's my ideal. But love what they're doing. It's going in the right direction. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, the, uh, Go to Pro Advertisers Club if you get a chance. It's free advertising. And um, join Splinterlands if you haven't. If you're watching this and you're just like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Go check it out and, get, and give it a chance. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's a great platform, a great game. And I think they're going to do great things. We already have. And I think they will in the future. Thank you for your time. I know it's important. Have a nice day.